kind of dreading going to the shelter, to be honest with you. Uh, having Caesars Pitbull, you know it's trained and it, it's not as nerve-wracking. I'm the car whisperer. I'm gonna... This guy already practiced empathy and compassion, but with little dogs. Why not help him to feel that way for pit bulls? Not to feel sorry for pit bulls, but to, in a way, let him know all this dog, just because they're pit bulls, can die. And the chances for them to be adopted are very little. See it? Yeah. What are you seeing about the energy? What do you think? It's happy. He's yeah. smiling. He's curious. Yeah. You can see, you know, that his eyes are very calm. So what you're seeing is just a dog. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at this. So for, for the most part, pits are absolutely wonderful with people. Yeah. So what do you see? What do you see now, Sid? It's kind of submissive. That's right. A little bit unsure. That, right. That's right. So he's, he's quiet, alert. Yeah, in it. yeah, there you go. Playful type. It's best if you come to where he is, yeah. There you go. So he wants to be robbed, see it? Yeah. So now you can rob right here. There you go. There you go. You know, what I've learned through the whole process is basically you can't judge a book by its cover. You can't judge a dog by its breed. You gotta, you gotta give it a chance and, and give off the good vibes and see what kind of dog you're dealing with, and, and they'll let you know. Mm -hmm. The dog will let you know. They have no knowledge of After the shelter visit, it was time for another session with Ginger and Luna, this time at the dog park. I was excited going over there to the dog park. I wasn't sure what to expect, because we've never taken our dogs to a dog park. Once we're right at the dog park, what I told Paul is, this is the principles at the dog park. You first come out and observe and check Who's in there? What's the energy in the environment? The same thing we did at the shelter. Now we are going to practice it at the dog park. Evaluate the situation. Practice what you learn about energy. Watch the owners interact. Because you're about to bring your dogs in that situation. And then you make a judgment, you know, are, are those people in control? You know, and, and right now they're uh, definitely in control. And not only that, it's a small pack and they all spread out. Mm -hmm. Giving us the actual steps of how to actual, actually enter the dog park, I think for me, was a big thing. And you take your time, so nobody's like rushing you or anything. That's good. See, that was good, that was good flow. Once you're in here, this here is where you take the leashes off. Okay. Go. Once you see that they're not sniffing anymore and then they're ready for the next move. You too. Okay. Yeah. You got to see a good example of that when a dog is in a submissive state, he immediately get to have friends. Ears back, see head back. Tail oh, wagging, right. she's happy. Mm -hmm. And when a dog is in a dominant state like Ginger, you know, she have to go through the process of letting that go so she can tap into her submissive side so she can become part of the environment. Otherwise, she doesn't know how to be in there. Normally, she tells everybody what to do. That one is, is, is inviting to play. <gasps> She's going through the process. Don't reward, oh, feel bad or anything like that. Looks then like Luna got disoriented. It was a perfect opportunity for me to show them how to bring her out of it. Yeah, so you can uh, always, yeah, see, see now oh. she's feeling up. But, but you can go with that energy Sorry. that way. All right, yeah. so let's go over there. And um, so, she can, so she can locate you in a way. Okay. See, she's looking for the smell. Right. See it? That's, that's really good. Yeah. That's good. Luna was a lot, little lost. He mentioned to not really call her, to kind of approach her and use sight or smell as a way to connect her back to you. So that was really neat. She's kind of, there you go. So that's how you help them. OK. You see how the nose and the eyes? Yeah. You are a scent, and then sight, and then sound. One of the things I learned from Caesar was definitely the energy you give out um, is what you get back out of your dogs. And I think in life, in, in our marriage, in anything, you know, if you're giving bad energy, you're going to get bad energy yeah. back. If you're giving good energy, you'll get good energy back. <laughs>